This is Governor Hogan. I started doing a documentary about Governor Hogan in 2014. I'm a black Republican. And Governor Hogan, as long as I've been knowing him, has refused to speak to me, talk to me, or acknowledge my existence. I'm a black Republican, a black radical Republican. And I ran for office as a black Republican to bring attention to racism in Baltimore City and Baltimore County. Really, the state of Maryland. I am Dred Scott. Do blacks have rights in which white America respects? I started a movie in 2014 with Governor Hogan, but I started with Governor O'Malley in 2006. We talking about the prison industry and mass incarceration. We talking about cancer in the community. We talking about the cancer in the community is is the war on drugs. I do a lot of community work. I'm going to send this to Tyler Perry, Ellen DeGeneres, Steve Harvey, and Starbucks. It's my homeless program. Because Governor Hogan talks about volunteerism. I've been volunteering in Baltimore since I came to Baltimore. I feed more homeless people in Baltimore than anybody that you know. And I don't have an organization. I'm an individual. This is my homeless program for Governor Hogan. Like I said, Governor Hogan was suffering from cancer. My mother died from cancer. And I dedicate my, my activism and my work in our community to Corrine Davis. My mother died from cancer February the 2nd, 2011. I blew the whistle on Scott Schellenberger, Greg Bernstein, Governor O'Malley, Chief Johnson on February the 2nd, 2011. February the 7th, 2011, I was locked up and charged with terrorism. I was incarcerated. I didn't go to my mother's funeral. So save the date, because like I said, I work in the community. I work all over Baltimore. So save the date. We're doing an all-night community event, all night, all right, Saturday, October the 26th. This is what's happening, and we're doing it in Cherry Hill. We're going to level up in Baltimore. That's Key's development. These are all the different people that I work for in Baltimore, and Governor Hogan know it. I'm a strong advocate in the community, all right? I'm Shorty. I'm a member of Out for Justice. I'm also Shorty, the underground ribs, Shorty's bootleg barbecue. I'm the best of the best in Baltimore. I'm Shorty, meat on fire, Baltimore's best. I'm Shorty from Style Magazine. You feel me? And these are my customers. 98 Rock. You feel me? These are my customers. And this is what I have to offer. I'm a cook. I'm a caterer. I'm a chef. And I've been in all y'all's houses. Johnny Oleski asked for a federal investigation because on February the 7th, 2011, I was kidnapped and charged with terrorism. I was charged with terrorism and held in the Baltimore County Detention Center. I'm a whistleblower on the courts. That's the Department of Justice, and they've had this evidence since 2018. That evidence is going to send... Governor Hogan to jail. That evidence is going to release 10,000 inmates. That's Department of Justice, Mr. Harden. They had this since 2018. That's Chief Judge Bennett. I'm writing you this letter as a follow-up to my online submission to the whistleblower on the courts. You have links attached to judicial complaints to give clarity to the situation and my request to testify in front of a federal grand jury. Senate Bill 374, as a private citizen, I get to testify in front of a grand jury. Harding's got this. Judge Bennett got this in 2018. Bobby Zirkin got it. Governor Hogan got it. Governor Hogan is shielding the corruption because they're making a lot of money off of the gang task force. Governor Hogan got this. Bobby Zirkin got this. You feel me? The chairman, Valario, got this. It's about the Underground Railroad, freedom. That's me. Established in 1997. And that's me. Inmate, N62528. That's me, Shorty, champion for justice. That's me. I am Dred Scott. Do blacks have rights in which white America respects? Well, Gov Governor Hogan, we're about to find out. Keep, giving, keep using your gift to be a gift. 
Like I said, we're going to level up. This is my storyboard. I work for Ozzy Newsom. That's Al Repmer. That's Judge Turnbull. That's the IRS. Because I need an audit. I need an audit. I also need you to do your job. Feel me? Let's make it a documentary. I need an audit. Bank of America, SunTrust Bank. Y'all participated in fraud. Y'all participated in fraud. Make your votes count. You feel me? Adrian Jones was in the room when I made this complaint in Baltimore County. I was in the, she was in the room when I made this complaint in Baltimore County. She's a witness. Bobby Zirkin has evidence and has destroyed the evidence. He asked, I asked for the grand jury. You feel me? That's Baltimore City and the FBI. Because you came in my house and you put guns to my head in October of 2010. All right? And Brian Frost has full knowledge of this. Like I said, that's an audit. Peter Francott refuses to bring charges against Schellenberger. Y'all audit and bring them charges against Schellenberger. Y'all gonna find out the truth. That's a crime victim. All right? On February the 2nd, 2011, my mother died from cancer. I was supposed to attend her funeral on February the 10th and return on February the 13th. I was supposed to go to court on February the 28th for a $54 million lawsuit. I had to go to Las Vegas to get the evidence from my mama's house because I mailed her everything that I had. This is my family. Y'all made me miss my mother's funeral. I was a member of Alpha Justice. And y'all talking about cancer? Well, we're going to talk about the cancer and the corruption in our courts. That's Governor Hogan, because like I said, I'm a whistleblower. Governor Hogan got this. You feel me? Office of the governor. Chief Hyatt got this. That's a criminal complaint. And I'm going to let you walk in my shoes. That's Chief Johnson. That's Chief Hyatt. And y'all shielding the corruption in the courts. Y'all shielding the corruption in... Scott Schellenberger's office. Y'all made me famous for toilets. Y'all made me famous for toilets. Jack Young know all about this. That's my political soapbox, the toilet. You feel me? And Gail King got all this. You feel me? Gail King signed for this. That's notarized. We're talking about racism in your courts. Racism in your judicial system. Commode emotion. That's the toilet you locked me up for? That toilet was a piece of evidence and artwork for a federal investigation. That's my producer, Rob Fix. Me and Rob Fix had a fallout. Everything that Rob Fix is for a federal investigation. If that don't go to the federal investigation, then they'll never see the silver screen. That's evidence to show everything I've been doing since 2006. Art and evidence. Commode emotion. The Baltimore Sun knowingly lied to the public. And Gail King has all this information. I was insured for a million dollars when I was locked up. I was insured for a million dollars when I was kidnapped. And the state don't want to pay off that policy. It's the art of getting money. Getting money in your prison industry. And the money that y'all put in Dutch's hands. The money that y'all put in Congressman Cummings' hands. The money that y'all put in different legislators' hands to keep this war on drugs alive. The war on drugs ain't nothing but the art of getting money because you traded the penitentiary for the plantation, cotton for cocaine, and black people is the cash crop. You want to stop the violence? In the war on drugs. Because I gave it to Chief Justice Retired Turnbull. I gave it to Governor O'Malley. The movie was about Governor O'Malley from 2006 to 2014. And then from 2014 to now, it's about Governor Hogan. Because y'all share that cash crop. And y'all share Schellenberger. Schellenberger is the most racist individual in the state. He ain't no different than George Wallace or Boss Hogg or Bull Connors, and that ain't no bullshit. I applied for Martin Luther King's job on February the 6th, 2011. I put the toilet in front of the, the courthouse, and it was about Scott Schellenberger. That toilet was all about Police Chief Johnson. 
and Chief Hyatt got it. And I sent it to President Trump. You feel me? President Trump got this. He signed for this. Because I'm a black Republican. I'm a black radical Republican. I'm a black radical Republican with a business. And you stole my business from me. So I'm going to have President Trump involved in this. Y'all got Tr President Trump going over the thing about a whistleblower? Well, it's a fair exchange. Ain't no stick up without a gun. We blowing the whistle on the Democratic Party. I'm blowing the whistle on Scott Schellenberger. Because I applied for his job. His job been vacant far too long. Somebody need to fill them shoes. And you're going to fill the jails. You can go to jail. And like I said, I'm just shorty. I'm a black man looking for freedom. I'm a black man that want to bury my mother. I'm a black man that gave a black woman a, a blueprint on how to destroy the racism in our courts. I gave you a blueprint and you won't even talk about it. I work for Alpha Justice. And I work for my family. We want to stop cancer? Let's stop cancer and racism in our courts. Let's talk about the cancer in Governor Hogan's office. That's worth dying for. That's worth fighting for. Governor Hogan, out for justice. Let's eliminate this cancer in your judicial system. Gail King, come see about us. Being black in Baltimore's white America.